Hello students, this is Professor Chalai, and in this video we're going to look at gas evolution reactions. By the end of this video, you should be able to write chemical equations for uh, reactions that involve gas as one of the products. As always, you can follow along with our chapter 4 workbook. Now, what is a gas evolution reaction? As I've just mentioned, a gas evolution reaction is simply a reaction that produces a gaseous product. And so if you're thinking of doing this reaction in, uh, involving sort of aqueous solutions, right, you have your little beaker with your solutions and you have your reaction. If one of the product is a gas, typically what you will see in your reaction are bubbles forming as the gases sort of form and evolve and sort of bubble out of the solution. So if you have a reaction where you see bubbles forming, typically this is a sign that you've just produced a gas. Now, there are a few gas, uh, gases in reactions that I want us to pay attention to, and they're given here in this sort of table. So what this table is showing us is the different kinds of gases that we have, and oftentimes they're, pre, uh, they're, they're formed from some sort of in intermediate. And so I want us to focus on the, these intermediates. If, for example, you see H2CO3 formed as a product in one of these reactions, note that H2CO3 can break down to form water and carbon dioxide gas, and so the bubble that, bubbles that you see will be of carbon dioxide gas. Similarly, if you see H2SO3, that will break down into water and sulfur dioxide, and so you'll see bubbles of sulfur dioxide gas. And similarly, if one of the products that you see in an equation is NH4OH, that'll break down into ammonia gas and water. And so this sort of table gives us the various different gases that will happen in a reaction. H2S is simply a gas, um, it doesn't have to break down from anything, but it forms when acid reacts with sulfide ions. Okay, so let's look at some examples of gas evolution reactions, and let's write the balanced equations for those reactions. I'll, I'll do A as an example, and you can do the others. Okay, so in this reaction we have HNO aqueous plus Na2SO3 aqueous uh, in a reaction. This is an uh, H plus will, this is a double displacement reaction where the H plus ions will uh, combine with the SO3 two minus ions, the sulfide ions, and so that will give us H, and since H plus has a plus one charge, SO3 has a two minus charge, this will be H2SO3. And so we needed two H's, well, let's make this whole thing two. We have an Na plus and an NO minus, uh, so that'll give us NaNO, but there are two Na's, so let's make that whole thing two, and so this whole thing's balanced. If we look at our periodic uh, solubility charts, we know that everything with sodium should be aqueous. But this H2SO3, while we might be tempted to put an aqueous over there, we recognize from this chart is one of those compounds, if you form it as a product, will break down to form sulfur dioxide gas and water. So instead of H2SO3, we will write these products here because that is what it breaks down to. So I'll replace this with H2O liquid plus SO2 gas. And so this is a balanced reaction that we end up with. In, uh, we just form water, the salt, and gas. All right, pause the video here. Try to do the same for B, C, and D to write the full molecular equation, breaking down uh, whatever compound into the gas that it might form. When you unpause the video, uh, I'll go over some of them with you. Okay, let's look at B. In B, we have HCl aqueous plus KHCO3 aqueous to form our products. Here, the H plus will react with the HCO3, so that's the bicarbonate ion, to form H2CO3 aqueous, plus the Cl minus and the K plus will react to form KCl aqueous. 
But H2CO3, carbonic acid, again, is one of those products right here that breaks down into water and carbon dioxide. So instead of H2CO3, I'll replace this with water, liquid, and carbon dioxide, gas. And so this here is the balanced chemical reaction. Okay. Let's look at C. If you haven't done it yet, please pause the video now and do this uh, by yourself. So we have HC2H3O2 aqueous plus NaH sodium hyposulfite aqueous. The sodium reacts with the acetate to form sodium acetate aqueous. And the, high, the H plus reacts with the hyposulfite to form H2SO3 aqueous. But again, from our table, H2SO3 will break down into instead H2O liquid and SO2 gas. And finally, let's do the, the third one. Here we have NH42. SO4 aqueous plus calcium hydroxide aqueous. Here the calcium will uh, combine with the sulfate. Calcium has a plus two charge, sulfate has a two minus charge, so we only need one each to balance that out. So CaSO4, that's going to be aqueous. The ammonium reacts with the hydroxide to form ammonium hydroxide right, but there's two of them, right, two hydroxides and two ammoniums, aqueous, but we looked at the table and we rec recognize that ammonium hydroxide breaks down to form water and ammonia gas, and this one is slightly different because there's two of them, so we'll form, we'll form two waters, liquid, and two uh, ammonia gas molecule moles of ammonia gas there we go so that will keep it balanced by you maintaining the two in each of those so those are some gas evolution reactions i just wanted you to pay attention to them they're formed whenever you see these compounds in your products know that they will break down into water and the appropriate gas so make sure that you break them down in your equations as well and the reason we do that is so that um when we look at our equations, we know that, oh, there's a gas right there. So when we're uh, performing this experiment, we should expect to see some sort of bubbles or some, for, uh, some indication that a gas is being formed. All right, so that brings us to the end of our different types of uh, reactions that we went over. We went over precipitation reaction that forms solid precipitates. We went over acid-base reactions that form salt and water. We went over oxidation reduction reactions where electrons move from one uh, species to another. And we looked now at gas evolution reactions where one of the products that we form is a gas. I will see you in our next video when we talk about reaction stoichiometry. I'll see you then.